Okay, so here is kind of, but not exactly, a build video on this 1988 Specialized Hard Rock. As you can see, this is the condition I received it in. Uh, those stickers have seen better days for sure. And I know a lot of people see $15, just like I said. A um, lot of people would have tried to salvage the paint and whatnot, but I saw too much rust and I, I don't like the rust. And so I decided that I was going to strip the whole thing, which turned out to be a bit of a chore, honestly, because paint strippers don't work anymore. And there was a lot of wire wheeling. And um, as always happens with wire wheeling, I did injure myself at one point. Because <laughs> you do a lot of wire wheeling. Uh, yeah, like six hours in, you're going to get careless and you're going to catch yourself in the knee or something, which is exactly what happened to me on this build. But yeah, this is the frame as it existed early on. Um, very solid frame. I mean, honestly, these hard rocks, these, uh, specialized bikes definitely built to last. And I picked this up at the co-op here in town and yeah, I love the co-op. See, here's me after trying paint stripper. Uh, I tried the orange stuff. That, of course, didn't work, the citrus strip. Then I, th they were like, oh, here's the real serious stuff, two-minute stripper. It did not work. Don't worry about this table. This table was in bad shape before I started using it. Anyway, here it is, fully stripped. That was so much work for me to get that done. Um, I did have to rebuild the internal three-speed hub. It's a Shimano Nexus three-speed internal that came off of a donor bike most of the parts on this came off of a donor bike and this is what it looks finished they call it the churlish humdinger uh churlish being the brand kind of a send-up of uh surly because you see surly everywhere i'll never be able to afford one because i only buy cheap bikes um but yeah basically this entire project came from the fact that i was like oh i i stripped the part bike which was a cruiser. That's where I got the handlebars, the stem, the cranks, the wheels, the tires, the shifter, all of that stuff came off of a parts bike that I received for free. Um, but it was one of those big, big box store cruisers that always felt really rickety, you know, never really felt secure on that Mama Jamma. And so... Yeah, I, I decided to put it on a good frame, and it's a massive improvement. The one thing I don't like, I don't love that pink saddle. I should have got it in green. I probably will go back and get the green one. Um, yeah, so, and the basket came from Target, got that on sale uh, around Christmas time when they sell all their, like, you know, put things in boxes for cheap. Anyway... So yeah, I really like the way this came out, really looks nice, but more importantly, it rides nice. Um, I never thought that I would be able to do a complete overhaul on a three-speed internal hub, but I did. I absolutely did. Actually, it was way worse than that. See, here's some riding footage. Uh, prepare yourself for some wicked uh, skids and whatnot. Um, really not that wicked. It, it's, it's a fun cruiser, you know, the, uh, yeah, look at, look at that skid, like a champion. Anyway, so the, um, the thing about it is that you, you get three gears, three internal gears, and uh, the first one is very much only useful on hills and stuff. The second one is like a good single speed gear. And the third one is for getting really crazy. Anyway, this is a thing we have in my neighborhood. We, we all have things like this in our neighborhoods, right? Very, very normal. Anyway, so yeah, this bike came together really nice. Really like the way it's riding. It was so much work, and I learned a ton, especially about three-speed internal hubs. That was a ton of work. But yeah, 
this is what it looks like and let's do a parts rundown of the whole thing so basically a uh, headset was four bucks from the co-op the bars and stem were free from the donor bike uh, the grips were eight bucks from the co-op the shimano nexus system that's the shifter the bell crank the hub and the wheel set those were also free from the donor bike which seriously somebody just gave us that donor bike and if you know how those cruisers from big box stores run uh they're real rickety but when i saw it was a shimano nexus system i was like oh let's put this to use on something better uh the front rack that's the 12 dollar amazon special if you have cantilever or uh v brakes this is the front rack that you should be running. It's 12 bucks. It's very sturdy. It mounts securely to the brake posts. So that's really nice. Um, yeah, the basket, like I said, eight bucks from like Target. It was on sale. Uh, yeah, the tires, those came free with the wheels. They're kind of crackly now a little bit. And the white walls are not as white as they once were, especially because I keep getting, uh, ever since I um, soaked the three-speed hub in oil, which, by the way, quick rant. I didn't just have to rebuild that three-speed hub. I had to take apart two of them and then mix and match parts from two of them to make one solidly working hub for four bucks i found a second three speed nexus hub and i thought i would just be able to swap the cores out nope because once i got the second one open i could see that the bearing cages had just disintegrated it was terrible uh it was in really really rough shape so yeah that that was not good that was not fun but I was able to put it all together. And then when you're done, you know, you soak it in the oil and some 75 weight gear oil. And, um, yeah, I made sure the thing was full of oil and it's still displacing the old nasty oil. So it drips every now and again. Uh, and that's not helping the white walls either, but the thing works. It shifts pretty darn well. Uh, considering the fact that it is made up of two partially working hubs and turned into one fully working hub. I've always been terrified of three speed hubs. The fact that I actually got this thing together is amazing to me, honestly. Um, so yeah, that that's the story of that. Uh, the pedals were $15 Amazon specials. Uh, the cranks were free from the donor bike. Same with the bottom bracket. The chain, I just went into the chain bin at the co-op and pulled out a $2, $2 worth of chain. Slapped it on the counter and they were like, two bucks. And I'm like, good. And I was like, I hope this will work. And it did. Um, I did have to get a chain, t chain tensioner, obviously, because I was not lucky enough to get that, you know, Goldilocks gear ratio. Uh, the chain tensioner was 17 bucks off of Amazon. Um, let's see what else. Seat post was four bucks from the co-op. Saddle was 16 bucks from Amazon. Uh, the green cable housing and cable was uh, nine bucks off of Amazon. The valve caps, which are little eyeballs, uh, which look hilarious and awesome. I should have got a closer up shot of those. Yeah, those were four bucks off Amazon. The kickstand was two bucks from the co-op. And paint-wise, I kind of don't want to talk about it. No, let's talk about it for a second. Uh, the reason you don't see me painting this thing is because I was prepared to chuck it in the bin uh, after my first attempt at painting it. Um, that's because I ran out of the color that I was using. I was using like a fluorescent pink marking paint 
and uh, I ran out of the Krylon brand, and so I went and got like a Rust-Oleum brand, and they were two different types of paint, and they reacted badly, and it was such a pain in the butt to strip the frame a first time, having to strip it a second time of a paint job that I put on there, that just made me sad inside. And, uh, yeah, it made me really wish that paint strippers worked at all anymore, but they don't, they, they do not, not in the United States. They took out the active ingredient because I don't know, it causes brain damage or whatever. And so no more paint stripper in the United States. You got to sand it, wire wheel it. It's going to cost you in blood, sweat, and tears. And honestly, there were equal amounts of all of those in this build. But when it comes to the paint that actually stuck, it was, um, you know, uh, how much? Uh, about $14 worth of color and um, $25 worth of clear. I used that 2X Max two part uh with a resin and a hardener uh the, where you have to wear a respirator to spray that stuff because it is deadly poison uh but yeah came together really nice but you will see there are some rough spots in the paint because i put it in the stand i clamped it down in the stand too early uh, I did not wait long enough for the, the uh, clear coat to fully harden. And uh, yeah, I was too anxious to put it together. Uh, all of the lettering and everything, those are water slide decals. I do have access to a vinyl cutter. I, I think I'll do it in vinyl next time and, uh, you know, actually paint it on there. I think it'll look a little nicer. But as it stands, I really like the way this thing came together. It's a really fun ride. Very simple bike. Should be nice and low maintenance for a long time. I know that a lot of people would have cut all of the bits that, you know, the thing doesn't use, you know, would have cut because now it's a coaster brake and it's a three-speed internal. So a lot of people would have cut all the you know, cable guides and things off of the bike, but not me. Like I I'm keeping it how it is. If I ever want to turn it back into a hard rock, I can do that. And so, yeah, we'll see. We'll see what the future of this bike is, but for now it is a supremely fun get around town sort of a bike. Uh, yesterday I took it um, the, the reason the basket is as big as it is, is because I needed something that would be able to hold records. Uh, and I rode down to one of my favorite, uh, vinyl picking spots and I picked up some records, threw them in the basket and there you go. It was a good time. Anyway, people that's going to do it for this build. Sorry. I don't have more actual build footage. I will on future things. Uh, but yeah. This channel is going to be all about just things that I like doing, things that I care about. It's going to be more of a catch-all than simply a music channel, though there is more music content coming up, so keep your eyes peeled. That's going to do it for this one, people. I will see you in the next one. Okay, bye.